One of the more convenient features in iOS 15 is the ability to have Siri read out your notifications. Announce notification works with Apple and third-party apps. You can now customize the additional alerts you'll hear when wearing AirPods and specific Beats headphones or on CarPlay. This video will walk you through the setup and how easy it is to use. For seniors, it keeps you from being distracted while driving or simplifies how you can respond to a notification. Welcome to Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPods. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video gets posted. Let's get started. iOS 15 enables announce notifications for apps that send you time-sensitive notifications by default things like messages and appointments. You might receive alerts from email and chat apps as well. Fortunately, you can now enable or disable the feature for any app you like. So if you missed anything during your initial iPhone setup, here's how you can get back to it later and find what you need. There are two ways to access the settings for announce notifications. You can open the settings app, tap on notifications, and then choose Announce Notifications. The other way, just as simple, is to open the Settings app, scroll down until you see Siri and Search. Once you see Siri and Search, select it and then tap into Announce Notifications. Both take you to the same settings area. Make sure that you have Announce Notifications turned on, and then you have two options here. You can uh, turn on headphones if you use AirPods or certain Beats headphones. And also, if you have CarPlay, make sure to toggle on the switch that says Announce Messages. And then here you can choose just to announce new messages, silence new messages, or remember previous setting. I just have it announce new messages. Let's go ahead and tap back in the upper left-hand corner. And below where it says announce when connected to, you'll see an option that says reply without confirmation, which allows Siri to respond without first reading back your reply. As you can see, I have that toggle turned off because Siri often gets my messages wrong. So I want to hear the message before I send it so that I have the opportunity to change that message if I need to. Finally, you can go through each of your apps below and select which ones you want to use announce notifications for. Let me just come into the messages app so that you can see you have two options. You can have it just announce time sensitive or direct notification messages, or you can choose all messages. As you can see, most of the time I have these turned off but there may be certain apps that you want or need to receive notifications for. So take the time to go through and set these apps up. If you're out and about and you're using your AirPods and you receive a text message, when Siri is finished reading that message, Siri continues to listen to see if you have a response. So once Siri finishes, all you have to do is say reply and Siri will ask you what you want to say, and then you can send that message. So it's a really nice, easy way to continue doing whatever you're doing, but have Siri respond to those messages that you receive. Announce notifications is a great feature. I've been using it with my AirPods Pro and iPhone Pro 13, along with CarPlay, since I installed iOS 15 on my iPhone. So far, it's worked really well. It's great when I'm out walking and I don't want to look at my iPhone every time I get a beep. What about you? Let me know in the comments section how you use or plan to use announce notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.